This call is now being recorded. Good morning, students. Today, we are going to study floriculture industry in which we are going to focus greenhouse. What is greenhouse then? It is a structure made up of a transparent material like glass or the plastic where there is regulation of climatic conditions and where we can study effect of microclimate on growth as well as the productivity of a crop. This is nothing but the study of a greenhouse effect. So first have a look on structure of greenhouse. So greenhouse may ranges from small shade to industrial size buildings. Depending upon the availability of space, its size get vary. Or sometimes miniature greenhouse is known as cold frame. Interior of greenhouse exposed to sunlight becomes significantly warmer than the external temperature. That's why it can protect the crops from the cold weather. And this is advantage of greenhouse where we can take any type of a crop. These are some uh, pictures I want to show you about the greenhouse. So here transparent material they have used here the beautiful carnation flowers some vegetable in which capsicum is grown there then this is gerbera you can observe the different color gerbera can be grown in a single polyhouse many of the times commercial greenhouse they are of glass and with high tech production facilities and these are for vegetable flower as well as the fruit production this greenhouse is equipped with number of things like heating another one that is a cooling lighting and may be controlled by a computer to optimize conditions for plant growth so in greenhouse number of conditions can be maintained and this optimal degree and comfort ratio of greenhouse in which the air temperature relative humidity and vapor pressure they can be also maintained with the help of a greenhouse let's have a look on which principle is used for greenhouse construction no doubt as you are now familiar with material that is either transparent or translucent material the peculiarity of the material that it reflects back 40 percent sorry 40 to 43 percent of a net solar radiations so solar energy remain trapped in greenhouse that is why there is a rise in temperature of a greenhouse and this is nothing but the greenhouse effect then ultimately rise in temperature result in increase in co2 concentration around the plant and you know that for growth of plant there is a need of co2 because with the help of carbon dioxide they can prepare their own food another interesting feature that in atmosphere there is a 300 ppm concentration of co2 
but in greenhouse we can increase it up to 1500 ppm these are some photographs i want to show you that these different types of greenhouse in which and our first one that is a concern here this is dome shaped then slant leg is there the semi pit is there and this one is a frame this is also a gothic arch and dry penta lot of materials or types are there depending upon availability of place again whatever we have discussed in slide that here from the sun the light is comes on the earth which is in the form of short waves through transparent material of a greenhouse this light is transferred into the greenhouse where what happened exactly in which only the small wavelength rays can be remain into the greenhouse and longer wavelength radiates to the atmosphere and this results in increase in temperature of this greenhouse also this increase results in increase of co2 concentration and this heat as a result of increase in co2 concentration there is a maximum heat and that can be useful for the growth of a plant okay this is the principle which is used for greenhouse construction let's have a look on advantages of a greenhouse how this greenhouse can be useful as they can be useful for increase in crop yield why there is increase in crop yield because as compared to the normal environment they are with the higher concentration of co2 okay this is the first principle which is used for growth of different types of plant in a shield also ultimately large number of uh, increase in crop production results you the profit maximization and yield is stable because the plantlets which are used for greenhouse construction they are most of the times tissue cultured plants and they are homogeneous in condition that's why the results in the better growth as well as the better production then optimal condition for growth of plant results in all these that is high yield per unit area and per volume when we can grow any plant in open environment there are number of atmosphere fact atmospheric factor that can affect on the growth of that plant but here due to the specific environmental condition maximum production can be obtained in small area ultimately they are free from any type of a microorganism so pest control is easy to achieve also we can protect the crop from the invasive plant species along with the animals as this material no doubt it is useful only for capturing of a specific light energy and so it can protect from the storms as well as the drought condition here the production of a crop can be done all over year this is the interesting feature that any type of a crop we can grow in greenhouse condition many of the times percentage of fruit setting can be increased by 
the pollinating insects here also hardening and acclimatization of tissue cultured plants can be done with the help of greenhouse wasteland can be turned into the best land and this is boom for nursery owners where they can grow various plants in short time and in short place in if any barren area is there we can also construct their greenhouse because of artificial condition we can uh, fill that area with the help of another artificially uh, sorry artificially not artificially from other area soil and we can use also fertilizers we can enrich that soil and we can grow the crop in that wasteland this is a very good advantage of a greenhouse when we consider its growth yield as well as the production but there are also some advantages of this greenhouse that here there is a need of experts because we have to set up the greenhouse and we need the consultancy of the experts ultimately for consultancy there is a need of cost so experts must know the or they know ultimately how to grow the crops successfully and this is also with high operational cost whereas significant maintenance efforts are necessary for outcome of the greenhouse as there is automated system for watering or fertilizers or temperature control there is a need of a maintenance and for that maintenance again there is a need of a specific type of material as well as that ultimately leads the increase in cost this wrong setup may leads to the spread of a pest this is the space consuming now don't get confused that in last slide i told you that we can use a pest land but if we want to construct the greenhouse we have to utilize sometimes the best land also this so it can uh, consume the space so greenhouse farming is a long term project it is not like a 3 months or 4 month crop we have to work with it for many days and there is also need of official official permissions sometimes there is a risk of vandalism what is vandalism many of the times as you are using the costly material transparent material either glass or the plastic so it can be destructed deliberately by some people that's why this also gives you a economic loss and few crops are well acquainted with the open environment so limited crop yield opportunities are there but at the end i would like to say that uh, every coin has two sides positive and negative so in what way which in what way we are using it is its a result this is in brief uh, a difference between the advantages as well as the disadvantages of this uh, greenhouse as there is a high profit uh, soil free crops can be grown in poor areas by artificial fertilization so there is no need of a uh, plowing so less stuff is needed this is another uh, beneficial uh, character of this greenhouse if you are not with the capacity of uh, labors that can be uh, useful for a greenhouse larger crops can also 
uh, harvested in short time but on the other hand it is expensive and there is a need of lot of planning electricity and gas needed to maintain it for the artificial uh, requirement of the greenhouse as we are maintaining the artificial environmental condition inside the greenhouse and there is a need of alarm this is also expensive to monitor because every day we have to monitor in the greenhouse because a single flower or single uh, infected plant can cause destruction of a whole crop in the greenhouse again there is a need of a continuous monitoring for the greenhouse it also income and ability to grow crop need to balance against the cost of the system so who are ready to invest the money for the construction of greenhouse and they can maintain very well ultimately it is good for uh, it gives good yield for them these are the some uh, additional pictures i want to show you so this is a again grand small uh, gr glass house part of a greenhouse here the material is used this is semi open uh, greenhouse where plastic material is used and this is fully covered uh, greenhouse is there so this is all about i want to uh, tell you about the greenhouse its advantages and disadvantages and opportunities in the floriculture industry in next lecture we go for one of the greenhouse cultivated crop that is gerbera for its detailed harvesting as well as the marketing thank you